Hey, yo. If you're showing me the nipples, that's kind of confirming. That's not a girl. That's a dude. <laughs> oh, do you realize what's going on right now? They would never show nipples of a girl in anime. Never. We got a trap. We got a trap. Even better. Welcome back to another episode of Call of the Night. And in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the finale of an anime series. But still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Last time, things are still getting pretty bad. We can't even enjoy the night anymore. Nazna is kind of being like... Not, we're kind of talking to Nazna and hopefully I thought I'd get the vibes going again. It's not really. There seems to be some kind of tension ever since that, you know, the detective girl showed up. And we don't really know if we can trust the vampires. I think we can. But there's a lot of the tr There's some truth in what the detective is saying. She confronts us. Literally calls the cops on us. And makes us make a choice. Side with the vampires. I'm going to hunt you down. Or side with me. And I'll protect you from all the vampires. I think that's bullshit. How is she going to fight all the vampires? Granted, she does know a lot of the mechanics that I guess a lot of us that we don't know. I mean, that silver... I'm not sure if it's a silver ring, but that ring thing that was... That kind of made the old vampire guy disappear. I'm sure there's other tricks she has for sleep, but I'm gonna side with the vampires, to be honest. At the end of the episode, we met the other young vampire girl that was around Midori's like, age, I think, right? And... And we're just hiding in the playground right now. I hope that with this final episode, we get the vibes back and we can just kind of chill out again and... Probably with the help of the new vampire girl, we'll be able to do that. Let's watch the episode. Hmm? Oh, it's her. Wait, she invited her. She invited us over to our plane. Uh, hello. Is anyone here or are you living alone? Who? Midori? Sama. Offsprings? This is quite the cult that she has going on here, huh? Hatsuka, huh? Can you all leave? They don't live here? Or I, I don't... Uh, I just think get out while well, I got a guest over, I guess. Get out. Very interesting. She's very interesting so far. Why does she have just like a bunch of worshippers in her place? What? Her apartment seems a lot more uh, furnished than... My god, look this... Look at the floors! Marble tiles? God, look at all this, like, decoration! Nazuna's apartment's so blank compared to this, but then you see my apartment's just as empty. <laughs> can't talk shit. Yo, this place is fucking loaded. Makes you want to decorate my apartment, but then I realize I'm broke. Exactly, the night feels distant. Actually, this might be good for the code to get adjusted to society. Go back to school and graduate and get a fucking job. Then again, that's boring. I want to become a vampire too. Uh, in the shower? Hey, yo! If you're showing me the nipples, that's kind of confirming. That's not a girl. That's a dude. <laughs> oh, do you realize what's going on right now? They would never show nipples of a girl in anime. Never! We got a trap. We got a trap. Even better. <laughs> no, <Otoko. laughs> it's like in Steins Gate. Remember that one scene of that the shrine guy is like, but he's a boy. Fighting? No, but there's some tension between us for sure. That. They always just hang out here at the top of the rooftop somewhere. Well, he keep her secret. Come on, he'll keep her secret. There's other people that already know your secret, to be honest. She's very serious about this. They're very serious about this. Like, this is a life or death situation. Nazna versus her. Who could fight better? <laughs> she just take a picture of the busted table. <laughs> Isn't that who made all these rules? What is this code of vampire that exists? Is there some kind of vampire council that exists beyond this? I want to see a fight between them. They look, she's... I, what Nazna just said is completely serious. I wish that we got an episode with her though, right? I wanted an episode interaction with her. 
Uh, I guess there's a special connection between Ko and Nazuna. Oh, okay. Okay! So do you identify as one though? Get me- Get the pronoun straightened out so I can stop saying he or her! Why not? I mean... She looks pretty good like this, honestly. She looks better than the other girls, to be honest. She does look pretty good. Hatsuka does look pretty good. You have to be to turn into a vampire. So how does that work? The chicken and the egg. How do you... So she's also an offspring. Wait, wait. Did Midori send us a picture? <laughs> That's a Midori's picture. Mm. Nazna, you okay? Okay, I thought she was beaten up. Never mind. Not, no, we haven't fought yet. It's actually not, not some more danger. Mm. Sit down. Well, now it's not. I mean, they look like they're about to fight, but I'm not taking it too seriously. Your offspring? Why would it be so easy to become your offspring, though, if she can't fall in love with Nazna? Make the decision and become a vampire, but that's not that simple. You have to fall in love. So you're saying that right now, when we just met, he can fall in love with you? And become a vampire like that? But why are you so confident about this then? Why is Hatsuka so confident? Why are you so confident in this? What an enlightened man. Very cultured. This is this, this is com completely different. Like, I did not expect like these kind of themes to be played in. <laughs> you love that. Uh, yeah, I am pretty cute by the way, but... She looks like uh, when Nazuna has a blush face uh, whenever he talks about romance to her. Try it! Go ahead! But like, we've been trying for like the whole episode with Nazuna. I don't think it's gonna be handled. Frick your brain. So we can maybe cheese this mechanic. Okay, so how do you trick the brain into thinking in love? They do look like... I mean, they all look... You got some kind of drugs? I just wouldn't feel attracted to you. It just we just met. Oh! But why? I think. But you still don't know why. Just don't want it to be bored. Maybe it's for you too. Maybe you don't want to be bored. Okay, it looks like he somehow... He basically figured it out for himself there. Like, Hatsuka was saying some shit too, but like, Ko just kind of just... Fixed it for himself. It's like, oh, hold up. Even if I were a girl, I'd still be with my husband regardless. And I just don't want her to be bored. Okay, I'm all fine now. Bye. I wanted more of Hatsuka, but no, oh, it is what it is. Oh, you're bluffing, right? You're bluffing, right? To Nazna's place? Liar. Never seen Ko upset like this before. And Sarius like me thought he's like, oh damn. He wasn't like this in our episodes. The fuck? <laughs> oh. Hello. Pretty cool entrance. Hello. <laughs> hey. So That was pretty cool by Ko. That was pretty cool. What? You're so embarrassed. Why are you blushing so hard? Yeah, no, I think Nico is just lying. Maybe it's like mental damage. I don't know. What did you do? <laughs> so I didn't do anything. Consequences are important. But wouldn't do anything, so it's fine. Okay. Okay. Just kiss and make up already. Was Nazna bored too? I'm not bored anymore. Okay, she's all. She, she, Nico's the biggest rooter of the ship right now. This is all bluffing the entire time. 
So as long as we just keep trying, but we still have the year timeline, don't we? I mean, I thought our initial agreement, maybe I understood something wrong, but there's still the year. But even if the year passes and then he falls in love, then I guess the vampire, he wouldn't become a vampire. But because they did fall in love, it's fine. Is that what Nico's saying? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? There's some big, something big's coming. What? Wait, wait, wait. Nazna was about to say something really important, I feel like. What, what was that? Okay. Even saying this from episode one, though. The key theme is uh, a bit about being bored, I guess. But anytime you talk about romantic themes, anytime you talk about love, it's way too much. It's way too much for Nazna. She keeps blushing, but what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I promise to make you a vampire. Oh, oh, that was fucking fat. Okay. I'll become a vampire worth falling for. Hazel's back. Oh, I forgot about her too. Oh, we haven't seen Akira in a while. Detective. Mm, detective is the most interesting too. A long kiss. I mean, we've already kissed before, but we didn't really get to see it. This is kind of, you know, showing us directly. Art style is kind of crazy though. The animation is so pretty. Is that the episode? And that's the season. Even though we pretty much stated that I'm gonna fall in love with you and we still got a kiss in the beginning of the season, nothing really developed beyond that afterwards in terms of actual progression, even though we got a bunch of different characters and you know, a lot of things got more complicated in the middle. I'm still fine with it because the vibes are back and we're not really afraid of the night anymore. Yeah, although the cops are still chasing us, but hey. Just want to let you guys know, I really appreciate every, each and every one of you for coming out to watch Call of the Night with me. It's been a fantastic season, but we have a new anime season coming right up in the next coming weeks. And we have a bunch of new hit titles to enjoy. So I hope to see you guys then. Take care.